Uh, let me add the server. Secret and what the fuck is a fucking Starbucks bitch? Na, 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 na. Fuck this shit. Cut you off too. Let me cut you off again. You ain't gonna do shit fuck about it. Look at these girls, bro. Look at these, and they're underage. Yikes. I'm kidding, there's no one there, bro. It's fucking entertainment. Williamsville House. Oh, very interesting. Ho, ho, ho. And what? What? What do you want? Oh, that's so sweet. That's a great piece of artwork. Thank you. Thank you for that artwork. It's a liberal ass city type shit. <laughs> Vote for Joe Biden type sniff children shit. <laughs> Gross ass people. The world's divided into O's and ones, winners and L's, Trump supporters and L's. <laughs> But Zerka, Trump is over. You could be talking about this till you're gray in the hair. I know. Trump might be over, but MAGA ain't over. MAGA's just begun. Mm, I want some Purdy's chocolate. I like Purdy's. <laughs> what the fuck? Please don't look at me like that, sir. Yo, why does downtown have no drive throughs I just realized. I can't get a fucking coffee anywhere. Where can I get a coffee downtown? Hey, you... Oh, shot. I fucked up, didn't I? Oh, 
start effing and then I'll park when I'm in past the bridge. More IRLs. This is what we need. Let me get our brain flowing again. Lap you cunt. You drive slow. You drive slow. Your people drive slow. By people I mean bank of friends. <laughs> yeah. Fuck this cloudy weather, bro. You took my snow and gave me rain. I'm done with this city, bro. <sighs> I'm so tired. I'm just so tired. Look at these chicks pretending to be hot. These are in a fucking gym, but they're actually mid as fuck. You, you're mid. No one ever told you you're mid. Fucking dress like that, just like that. That's how. It's not how you're supposed to dress. Okay, let's turn this thing. Whoo. Okay. Good morning. It is one day after Christmas. Had an amazing Christmas. Um, I'm going to grab that coffee and then I'll remember. I got so wine drunk. I got gay drunk, bro. And so I, I JQ'd the whole table. <laughs> I'm kidding. Let's go. Kings don't drink. It's actually the opposite. Queens don't drink. Kings drink pussy juice, bro. Kings eat the box. Kings do all that shit. Kings eat the box. All right, make sure you are you guys are eating the box for the new year. I'll be right there with you, don't worry.
Lip fillers. Every time I go IRL, someone says that. Lip filler? Fuck. Really, bro? You say you want to kiss me. Christmas was good. I uh, I argued and I played Mario Kart and Super Smash Bros. It's pretty good. I don't drink a double double. I stopped drinking black coffee. I don't know why. I have like a sweet tooth now. It's so weak. I didn't black coffee for like six years. And now, and that all looks so good. Mm. No donuts next year, though. For me, I'm already in the new year, so. No more temptation, no more bulks. Now I gotta be really elusive and quick. Hey, can I get a, a large double double coffee? Nah. Do you take American cash? French vanilla. Why is this sugar, man? Yeah, in Canada right now. Slippery, bro. Someone's gonna. There's no slips on. Oh. Oh, I could easily make some money there. No slips on. Oh, this is hot, bro. This is hot. Shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck, I forgot my smokies. Whoo! It's cold. What time is it? Someone give me Canadian time. Uh, I got some time left. Oh, go ahead and
Are we back? Oh, we're back. So zero beers. Is there anything better than coffee, man? I feel so good. <sighs> Tim Hortons, this coffee is so good. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I love coffee, but I always overdo it and get jittery and weird and I'm gonna drink it slower and less caffeine. I mix 10 different types of caffeine a day, it's so bad. One time I overdosed on, I think 700 uh, caffeine. I forgot what the measurement was, but it was like a bunch of drugs that the main ing ingredient was caffeine in the drug and coffee and all that and it was it was fucking crazy, dude. Like, I used to go way hard on caffeine, workouts and all that. I think it was 700 milligrams. Is that a lot? I don't know milligrams for coffee at all or any of that. It sounds like a lot. If it doesn't sound like a lot, I did more. It's a lot, yeah. That's like four Red Bulls. Yeah, well, I did that in like f five minutes. And I was combining it with drugs that like increase heart rate tenfold. And... It's weird though. Now even a coffee wakes me up. Like you'd think I'd be uh, desensitized, but. Dip a tampon in the coffee. Yeah, it's not that funny, bro. It's like boring funny. The life and a wife. Mmm, a wife, you say. I could go for a wife right now. I could go for some car sexuals. Oh, oh. I was actually talking to someone recently about that, you. And I said... It doesn't make sense, right? Because I see myself in my head as a single dad. Because I, you know, I I know these women are garbage now. And uh, to me, this is gonna sound so wild. Like people are gonna hate this take. My brother will hate this take. But to me, being a single dad sounds worse. And I know that's probably going to be all of us, you, me, everyone in this chat. But but let's just be realistic. Being a single dad would be worse than being married to someone good with no kids. I think it would be worse to like be a single dad like in the movies with one kid. Like that's how much I value marriage over the children thing. 
And but then most people attack me on this part of the internet where they're like, no marriage is about kids. I'm like, I get what you're saying and all, but a shitty marriage with kids, you're supposed to do it, whatever, you know, you, you signed up for that. But that's a terrifying existence, you know. Like, it, the only people who get what I'm saying is if you've ever been with a girlfriend that you had a bunch of fun with for years and years, then you get what I'm saying. Like, have you ever had a girl that wasn't boring? Let's try and think of one. <laughs> try and think of a woman you had that wasn't boring. Even the fucking interesting ones bore you to death. You know what I'm saying? Think of one that... I guess you'd only think of, like, the honeymoon stages, right? What's it called? The honeymoon stage when you guys are, like, having fun and shit and just doing dumb stuff? Yeah. Like, I, when I think of myself as a single dad, it looks like beers and misery. <laughs> but when I think of myself as a childless married guy... It looks like a happier me. Like if I had to pick one of these fucking two evils. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? I think I watched too many of those Hollywood movies. Where like. There's single dads in every fucking movie. You get dogs like Emma. You're being selfish. No, dude, for the first time in my life, first time in my life, I want kids. But not really. <laughs> yeah. I want kids, but I don't want to take care of them and do shit with them. I don't want to hear their gay problems either. <laughs> Ew, I don't know. I do know. Just gonna have a bunch of kids and then disappear. It's not about kids. It's about making them. Don't you guys... Sex is overrated. But when you haven't had it in a long time, it, in your head, you feel the sensation. Does that make sense? What I'm saying? Like, when you haven't had sex in a long, long time, you feel the sensation when you think about it. You know, oh, that, I wonder what that's like. And you crave it. And that's me right now. Like, Christmas time, I was with family, so it wasn't sexual. But, but, um, as soon as Christmas is over, now I'm alone, you know, just me and my apartment and my chat and whatever. And so now it's like back to thinking of piping. It's not weird. Like you're lonely. You think of piping. No one wants to admit that. People are just like, oh, you're just horned up. It's not. It's you're lonely. Horny people are lonely people. They're not actually horny. They're actually not. <clears throat> Does that make sense? You want a family, nothing weird. No, I don't, dude. I want a wife to do fucking coke with. I don't want kids, bro. They be chopping up my shit wrong. They be fuck they be fucking up the fish scale. <laughs> like have you ever had someone you did a lot of fucking drugs with? And a lot of people are thinking of like someone I'm with on Twitch. I'm saying before Twitch when I lived down on the down there. When I lived down there, there was this one girl I used to run around town with. And we would never have sex. We would never kiss. We'd never do anything. We'd just fucking hit the drugs together. And everyone knew we're a couple, but we spent weeks never, t like, kissing or doing anything. And then it was weird. We're like, whoa, bro. We're like, we were bros, bro. It was a man. That's the plot twist. It was a man. I gotta go soon, guys. Are we having fun in chat? You want to do more IRLs this year? Fucking Texas and shit. In Texas, I'll be... Hey, yo, girl, come here. Suck this day. That's what I'm going to do.
suckers there. Losing it like Kanye, what did he lose? <laughs> Shit, should I buy a smoke off this guy? Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Can I buy a smoke off you? You don't get it, I'm live, bro. I was gonna give him 30 bucks. What? He went upstairs. <sighs> Reject it. Yeah. Dude, I gotta stop doing FaceTime with slur words. Because I keep thinking I'm on FaceTime and I keep wanting to drop slurs. And I'm reminded like, oh shit. What am I doing? What am I doing, dude? Keep wanting to say, not slurs, but like, you know, like slurs. Turn it off! Every time I go in public, I look at society and I get grossed out. Like here's people working on their goals, but they're never actually gonna do them. Right? Do you ever look at someone struggle? You know these people are struggling financially and you go, Get it together, you fucking bitch! I failed every fucking class and I got it together. How the fuck did you not get it together? Failed every single course in high school, you fucking loser. Got bills and shit, you fucking loser. When I see like people struggling, I get angry because I know that guy went to school. I know he made fun of me in school too. I know he was making fun of my grades. But I'm not a snob about it. Like, Tate. Did you say Tate's... Um, what did he say? Merry Christmas or something? No, he said... Um, he said, don't forget all you brokies and wage slaves have work tomorrow. And I've never... You know, when someone like me says it, it's not the worst thing in the world. But someone with a Bugatti and a mansion and hookers says it. Dude, that is so snobby, man. You know, the more successful you become in life, the less snobby you're supposed to be. That's like our rule. That's like the rule of cool, like how to be cool in life. You're not snobby at the top. That was the weirdest thing I've ever seen him type. And I get he's going for his character and shit, but I'm like, dude, this is the one time a year you don't want to do that character. Like, shut the fuck up, let people enjoy their eggnog. These Christmas bashers, bro, right? It's like my dad, bro. My dad eating the turkey, and he's just like this. I don't give a fuck about Christmas. Whose birthday is it? I'm like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> why, you, why do you gotta do all that? And everyone on the table is like, oh, shit. My dad's like, just eat the fucking turkey. <laughs> yeah. It was weird though, like the whole table started JQing hard because of Kanye. Someone brought up Kanye and everyone started JQing at the table hard. And I ruined another Christmas, right? My mom's like, oh, good. You know, I'm kidding. My mom had a blast. My mom said I was so funny. She's like, this year was your best performance ever. I was like, it was very, it was very good performance. Because here's what I do. I open hard, like on Rod shows. Bam, bam, bam. Start the argument. And then I lean back and let everyone fight with each other. But if you stay in the shadows and don't say anything, then people just attack you, you know, in my house. Or in my fam. So I knew exactly how to not be attacked. Because every year, it's this. I'm sure you guys get this, where it's like every year, where's your girlfriend? Are you getting married? Why don't you have kids? Shut up, bro. You're a fucking single... You're a single uncle, bro. Why are you asking me that? Shut the fuck up, bro. You used to not get to me. I used to think single is a compliment. And then I did research and I found out being called single is actually being called like nobody wants you. <laughs> if you're single, it means nobody wants you. The only thing worse than that is being taken by a loser. Like, if you're dating a loser, then you're, like, not single, but you're with a loser coping. 
Because, you know, everyone makes this argument that there's so many people in the world out there for each other. No, there isn't. The amount of people you're compatible with in your city is like, there's like maybe two, three people you can kick it with in your city without losing heaps of money, time, and energy. So when you think about it, being single just means those two, three people in your town or whatever, it just means that they don't want you, right? Like if you're single, you're a fucking loser. And if you're dating for fun, you're a fucking loser. You're a loser every which way unless you're priming for marriage. Can you say that? Or getting married, or I mean being married. Yeah. I used to not value marriage that much because I was like, I got bitches, why do I need to get married? I could just, when I get fucking lonely, I could just bang these bitches. And then society completely changed to where you can't bang strangers and not get canceled. That never happens. Usually they're like, oh, you didn't call me back. You're actually a rapist. So I was like, oh shit, I can't even uh, be a degenerate. Cause like being a degenerate is like playing high risk. So I'm in this weird position where it's like, oh, there's only one option for um, a c consistent, I don't wanna say pleasure, but it is pleasure. You know, being married is pleasure. There's a lot of pleasure in being married. I think most men make it, cause of Andrew Tate, most men make marriage sound so disgusting. You know what I mean? Most men make it sound like it's the end of the fuck. You, me, if you look at my early Roger days, anytime they talk about marriage, I just I tune out. I'd be like, eh, I didn't really care. And then the more I started meeting my buddies who are single and going out with them, I was like, there's something really fucking wrong about these people. You know, like I can't fully respect a human unless they have a wife. I'm not gonna say a husband because I can't respect a woman, but. My mom cringes when I say that, but I say, mom, I can try. <laughs> I can try my best. You guys like the rambling? The car ramblings is back. Does this feel cozy? Does this feel like a stream or does this feel like it's a dude in a car waiting for some coke? The dealer said he'd be down in 10 minutes. Stop doxing yourself. Dude, I've never been sniped wrong. There's never been anyone rude in public that came up and they're like, John Zerka, you're a bitch. The day that happens, I swear to God, I will knuckle up and go to I'll go to prison for that street fight, dude. Because that, that's the day I go, okay, God sent you to fight me. Because I said it live, I manifested it. Anyone in this city watching this stream, if you come here and try and fight me, 100% you'll get what you're looking for. 100%. I'm on Drake Street and Davey. Drake Street, Davey, 1212 uh, Pizza Shop Place by Tim Hortons. Ow! What the fuck? Ow! 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 So they're getting fucked up. Drake? What if they want a picture? I don't do pictures. I hate taking pictures with people on the street. That hasn't happened in like a year and a half where someone stops me for a photo, right? The, the coolest thing I ever get is if I ever take the subway, someone goes, John Zerka. And I go, say it louder so other people in the fucking van or the, the train cart can hear that you know me from something, bro. It's John Zerka. Let's come say hi to me. Make it look like I'm popular, you dumb bitch. They just say it under their breath to their fucking ugly girlfriend. It's almost like they don't know if it's me because they don't watch me. They just saw me on someone else's fucking channel. Just total stupid shit. Look at this mommy, dude. This mommy is like totally walking her dog. You're taking that dog for a walk. What time is it for me? John, you look about five years younger with the new teeth. Really? Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I look like, uh, 
I look like a... Uh, I got lucky, dude. Like, these ones are so straight. I keep seeing my buddy's veneers, and I hate them. Because they're like this. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And mine are like, shink, pow, shink, 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 shink. Mmm. Girls ask me to spit on them now. They're such gross women now. They're into, like, veneer sex where I bite and spit on them. What the fuck? Oh, do you see that lady's lips? They were actually this far out from the filler. That's why people say lips are ugly? Or the filler's ugly? That's why they say it. That was so disgusting. It was this far protruded on, a pro on the, her profile. This far out, like a Simpsons character. That's why people say fillers are ugly. I know why people say fillers are ugly. Because if you're from any town in U.S., and girls get filler, it's just stupid, ugly, whatever. But if you're in Vancouver, in my city, where girls are super, super pretty, and they get filler and it, like, enhances their look or whatever, then you start to think you're into it. But people have shown me photos where it's like, oh, if... Like, guys who like filler will be in New York, Miami, Van, Montreal, whatever. But if you're just, like, from buttfuck nowhere... You know what I mean? Yeah, that was the ugliest shit I've ever seen. Girls say spit on my mouth. Yeah, that's the joke. Where the fuck are the girls? <laughs> what the fuck? I'm the only one that can be accused by this fucking crazy person that I'm fucking bitches on Christmas Eve. I had like one piece of fucking glitter and I got accused for fucking bitches. <laughs> There's like a piece of glitter on your face for... No, yeah, girls ask to spit in their faces now. And literally, that girl asked me earlier, she's like, hey, can you spit and bite on me with your veneers? Right? And I said, I, I was slicker about it. I was slick. I was like, patoo. What time is it? Someone give me the time. Do it. How much time do I have left? <laughs> women are degens. Don't say that. Don't say that. Bro, if women were pure, men would be angels. It's all their fault. Like, imagine a guy trying not to sin, and then he finds out he lives in a city filled with. <gasps> You live with whores! You find out your city's filled with whores! You telling me you're gonna stop, like, oh, I'm actually gonna play it pure because everyone else is playing the game. No, dude, it'll de degenerate. Mm -hmm. No, I still stand by my filler thing. Most women do not have a uh, lip. Gen Look at all these ones that are walking by here. None of them have lip genetics. Women don't own eyelashes, lips, sometimes even earlobes. Their earlobes piss me off and make me fucking like men more. That's rare, though. Lips and eyelashes, they don't own. Stop coping, dude. I hate when people think, um... I hate when people think, like, oh, because the cartoons show women with long eyelashes, that they have better eyelashes than men. That's not true. Actually, when you look at it, men are just prettier. <laughs> like, think about it. The broadness of a guy, the angularness, the squareness, right? Women look like fucking Humpty Dumpty. Let's go! 500 viewers, I spit on you. This chat sucks, bro. What time is it for me? I can't check, it'll lag. F. This coffee's hitting hard, man. John, the Coke is under the blue bike rack in front of you. Okay, you, you've clearly never dealt drugs. Anyone who does... There is nobody who does... A drug deal where they leave it out in public and you have to go find it like a scavenger hunt. No one's ever... You, you don't understand how drug 
addicts operate, dude. No one would ever risk that shit, even if they do it in front of you. Even if they say, hey, I'm gonna put it right under this carpet. They'd say, nah, just hand it to me, bro. No one risks shit like that, dude. You lose a bag this big and your whole weekend sucks. Remember I went on that rant on that podcast years ago where I said, doing drugs is okay if you're repenting hard. <laughs> That's the biggest cope I've ever heard. But it's like better than uh, doing them and not repenting. Right? You're like, forgive me, father. <laughs> Oh, this year I'm getting fucking tooled up, man. I'm getting, I'm going fucking everywhere. TikTok, YouTube, Twitch. You're going to see my face everywhere. I'll be like, you know what's wrong with fucking women, bro? <laughs> you scare all the TikTok Zoomers. But here's the fucking problem with women. I've been saying it for years and they're stealing my red pill. And then I'm going to come out as gay as the ultimate sacrifice, right? As soon as they cancel me, I'll be like this. LGBT powers activate, right? My LG armor. No! No! Did it F? No! What time is it? Well, yo, what time is it for me? Twelve thirty-six. Okay, we got like ten more minutes, and then uh, and then I'll turn the stream off, and I'll see you guys at home. Whoa! I can make this whole shit shake. Look at that! Whoa! Whoa! What am I waiting for? I bought this new PC for you guys. Make sure you catch my new stream. I got a $10,000 computer unboxing today. For Christmas. And I got this for Christmas. It's Gucci. It's Gucci, bro. Like, I give a fuck. Gucci Paladin in this bitch. Seven hundred viewers. Let's go, dude. A lot of fucking losers in here. You're a loser if you don't have New Year's goals, right? And your goals can't be descriptive. They can't be detailed. They have to say everyone, every man's goal should be: I'm gonna take over this bitch. That's what your goal gotta be. I'm gonna take over this fucking bitch. Don't make it anything that can that can actually help you in life. Make it just fucking vague. Make it. Don't make it any. Don't put steps on how to fix your life. Don't do anything effective. Just I'm gonna take over this fucking bitch. That's what you do, right? You take over, you grab life, you bend it over and you take over that shit and then you get really awkward when you're not in a minute. I don't know, thought it was the man, but uh, I guess I come and you know, got it up. I'm gonna take over this fucking bitch, God. Yeah. Circa, you have become the very thing you fear. You are satanic. And your mother's a whore, right? But just because I'm afraid of whores doesn't mean I don't pipe her. Gotta conquer your fears and I conquer that little kitty. I love your mommy. I love her too, so much. Electric cars look cool, but they're gay. Have you noticed that? Like these new electric Toyotas and shit. They have this cool look, but everyone humming sound is on. It's just gay. Right? Like when you go buy a car, can I get whatever destroys the environment the most? Thank you. That's what I do. Can I get what destroys the environment the what? This diesel truck? Yeah, I put a supercharger on that bitch. Toyota Supra twin turbo that shit. RX7. Take out the rotary, put a V8 in that bitch. Let's fucking go. We don't fuck around here. We destroy the environment type shit, bitch. Fuck you, take over this shit. Spit on my camera type shit. Yo, this coffee is hitting you. 
My brother says, anytime they start see me sip coffee, they all leave the room. They're like, oh, fuck, he's going to start rambling time. Oh, man, I rambled so much yesterday. It was like fucking ruining the Christmas dinner. We had two Christmas dinners, Eve and Christmas. It was so good, man. I had so much stuffing. I was stuffed, man. Stop wearing the MAGA cap. It's triggering. Okay, here you go, little lip. Yo, make America great again. Your city is fucking pathetic, all right? Any city you go to is fucking pathetic. I run your fucking bitch ass city. I run that shit. I got Trump smile, bitch. Right? If I disagreed with every single every single policy of Trump, I still support Trump. If Trump came out today and said every man has to wear a fucking tutu, I'd say I'm not wearing a tutu, but he's probably onto something. I support Trump till I die. I support masculinity to, till I die. And for me, you know, you guys love Andrew Tate. Mine is Trump, right? The billionaire, right? The billionaire who's like, you should be in jail. That's who, that's my guy. That's my spirit animal, all right? And Trump reminds me of me. He, you know how I'm like the worst Chris, Christian you can meet? That's who Trump is. It's just, we love people like that, where it's like, Trump's the kind of guy who'd be like, yeah, well, Jesus probably didn't exist. So what? And so what? You know, he's one of those guys, if he's debating, the so what guys, he just gives up. Yeah, he probably didn't exist. Whatever. Right? Trump's those kind of Christians. <laughs> <laughs> Zirka is jealous of Tate. No, I hate Tate. After what he said about, uh, hey, you guys all have to go back to work in the morning. There's nothing weirder than fighting the Matrix and then saying something snobby that the ruling class would say like put your mask back on bitch and go to work there's something really snobby about that and if you watch my channel even before hassan's mansion it was always me shitting on the rich right and people think when i'm rich as fuck that i'm not gonna stop or something then i'm gonna be in their neighborhoods it's gonna be even funnier there's gonna be me in a ferrari saying tax the rich <laughs> Let me get my commie on. Can't wait. And I have a good argument for that. I'll be like, tax the rich, accept me and my Ferrari. And they'll be like, why? Because I'll be like, because I'm better than them. I'm a genius. They're just civilians. You got to tax civilians. What the fuck? Why would you tax geniuses? Like, if you can prove you're a genius in society, you should be tax free your whole life. If you if you make this like water car that runs on water before the government kills you, then you should be like tax free. Your life should just be tax free. If you've benefited society. <clears throat> John, do you use wrestling when you're fighting? No need, bro. Straight knockout power. Wow. And I'm really afraid of wrestling because it's always their buddies running in eight minutes later. To break it up, but when the way they break up fights is they hurt me as they do it. They don't actually break it up. Well, they break it up, but they're like rough with me. So I was like, I'd rather just fucking get get the fucking. Mm, mm, mm. And I hit so hard, man. I swear, everyone thinks I'm capping, but I'll be streaming my life till 60 years old, and I will be pressed on the street, and you guys are going to see something spectacular. I know God is going to give me that clip, and I'm not going to jail. It's going to be self-defense. I know God's going to give me that clip one day. I can't wait. I don't even like fighting, dude. I like winning a fight. <clears throat> you ever fight someone who's like you're evenly matched with, and then you start to think you're human? That's the worst feeling in the world. But you ever fight someone you're obliterating and you don't feel human, you feel like a monster. Yeah, if I find a good gym in Austin, Texas, I'm down to start boxing. And I don't really wanna just hit the gym and do boring shit like that. Cause uh, I have a strong routine here in Canada and then I'm off it cause it's business. But now in Texas, the routine isn't really about money. It's about channel growth and for channel growth i want to have the best mindset and for me the best mindset is a fitness mindset like i'm going to be razor sharp 2023 and 
and I got to take out anger, you know, like my therapist says, he's like, you without a workout is like, you're traumatizing people, dude, like you need to get that aggression out of it. Um, Cause it's it, like, here, here's the truth about men. Okay. Here's the truth about men. They need sex and a workout a couple times a week to not be uptight, you know, to not be wound up. That's why single men are so dangerous. Have you noticed that? That they need those two releases. Not one. It can't just be nutting. Because then they melt and turn into a bitch. They need that gym. And then they need that bang bang. And then for some reason, good things happen to you when you cover those two steps. Right? And it can't be... Uh, and a It can't be a hookup. For some reason, a hookup doesn't calm you down, dude. For some reason, a hookup does not calm a man down. Like a hookup is like, who is this bitch? That's not calm, dude. That's not calm at all. That's that's not what you want, bro. That that shit. And Andrew take off critique so hard for that, but now he's changed. Now he's all about marriage. I'm like, thank God he's pushing the right message. Like the right wing checked his ass. I love that shit. The first time we did something that wasn't fucking stupid you know for some reason a hookup don't work i don't know man can't explain it to you this dude perma midlife crisis true true that's actually really accurate Yeah, learning how to defend takedowns is super, super important. I mean, take the, I'd say if you've got hands, takedown defense is the only thing you need. Um, I, most people with hands, though, they get the job done fast. Like, I really don't get humans who punch, punch, win a fight, and then wait for the guy to get back up. I've never once in my life done that unless I knew uh, I was going to win and they didn't have like a weapon or stuff. But usually I'll just... I'll, I'll just finish the fucking job, you know? Like, I will not waste that energy. Ice Poseidon, he's a fucking coward, bro, and he's going to get it. He's a fucking pussy, bro. Fucking messaging me. What did he message me? He said, well, when's your flight get here? I, I, I'm thinking of going to Japan early and uh, did you want to like go into a bo boxing ring? Look, I don't want to fight. Then why'd you say you do? Dunkle? No, I ain't. Listen, dude, let me tell you something about me, okay? I'm going to milk Austin, Texas so much that I probably will stay there. It's just depressing, dude. I belong in Miami. Dude, the weather in Miami. Just when you're getting bored of the sun, it starts to fucking rain. I've never once in my life been in a tropical place like that. And I've traveled the world. I haven't been in a place like that. That shit is awesome, dude. Florida is... You can't be bored, dude. You just go on the balcony and it's like a fucking twister storm outside and it's so much fun. You want a Latina? No, don't, man. I, I, I don't want anything. Dude. I don't want no woman in my life. You know what women are in my life? Jealous. They're always, they're always jealous, right? They're jealous. They're like, this ugly fuck, they're jealous of this, right? Like, this is who they're jealous of. Right? Imagine this guy. This is who, I'm competing with him. Oh, he's got bitches? I can get men, too. You're a woman. There's no shit you can get men. Nobody gives a fuck. A fat bitch can get men. Nobody knows how many DMs are in a fat bitch. Uh, how many guys are in a fat bitch's DMs. Nobody understands that. You right? Nobody understands the chads like me when we're bored. We look at a fat bitch and we go... Hmm. Like, we don't do it, but we go... Hmm. <laughs> so imagine the average guy, what he's doing with these fat bitches. <laughs> you know what's funny is the fat bitches are the most beautiful women on earth. Don't cancel me. Check this. I'm going somewhere with this. You, 
You know how I know fat women are the most beautiful women on earth? They're the only women that men look at and go, if she lost 98 to 172 pounds, she'd be the hottest woman in New York. Right? <laughs> you don't do that for skinny girls. You don't do it for average girls. You don't do it for curvy, for, for a fucking fat ass chick. You go, holy fuck, that's a perfect looking woman. She got perfect skin and eyes and nails and everything, hair, whatever. You you look at her and you're like, oh, she's perfect. If she lost 172 pounds, this girl would be fucking drop dead gorgeous. She'd be better than anyone. Men don't do that for average chicks. We never put average, uh, average weighted chicks as our like, you'd be perfect. Men don't do that with skinny girls, average girls, beautiful girls. They never do the whole, you'd be perfect. They say, oh my God, you're perfect. And then they get to know them and they go, you're not perfect. You just, you just know how to, how to hide. Right? Because <clears throat> when, you, when you're with a girl and you're finding out she's not perfect, you got to ask yourself, is she funny at least? You know, because women cannot be funny. But if you're laughing with them, then there's some medicine to the relationship. Because... I've noticed something. You know what relationships are? It's men losing, but women complaining. <laughs> like, it's men losing everything, but the women are the ones complaining. Right? Men lose everything in a relationship, divorce, all that, but the women are destroyed. And again, I can't do it. John, I can't do it anymore. And it's like, what the fuck is going on, bro? You... A guy can lose like fucking ten million dollars in a divorce, and everyone wants to hear her side of the story. This fucking nobody bitch who got like nothing to her name, right? Some fucking dumb mid bitch who got no money, no nothing. She gets everything, and she goes, "I had to go through the divorce. I just the divorce was too much." What? You know, women look at me and they go, Yo, you have a lot of problems with women. And I go, wait till you're mad at your best friends. Wait till you're mad at your girlfriends. You're going to be saying the same shit I'm saying about them. And they always do that. They go, yeah, my girlfriends are such bitches. They're such whores. They're such, they're doing this, this, this. Well, they don't want to admit it because they're like, oh, I don't want Zerka to do that. I told you so parade, which I don't even do. I go, bitch, I know. Like, I'm, what the fuck? I know, you're a fucking idiot. And to be a woman is to listen to your best friends until they convince you to ruin things with the guy they're with. And then their best friends go and get fucked and farm horrible mental health. Then they infect the girl with the bad mental health. Then their friendships break. And that's it. The woman's left with nothing. It's like, you should have just stayed with the fucking boyfriend, you retard. Circle your content is so misguided and sporadic. Yeah, I know. I know. I, know. I sit in this car. I see a bunch of women. I get angry at women. And that's the content. <laughs> Stop being a fucking... No, but you know... The one thing that bothers me about all this is... When you think about it... Men who lose everything complain way less. That's how I know men are fucking retarded. Right? Imagine if every man on earth stood up and said to their uh, the, their last horrible relationship. Imagine they looked at the girl in the eye and said, Bitch, you won. We lost. We men lost. You won. You won everything. You had everything. We lost. Snap out of it, bitch. The fuck... Who is telling you to be sad? You're stealing my sadness, bitch. You're stealing our sadness. You're like witches. Is relationships hello? Of course, dude. You, anyone who's single is a fucking loser in life. Right? The only thing worse is dating a loser. Because that's still single. Have you seen a girl who dates a loser? The last thing they tell you is they have a boyfriend. After 10 years of talking to them, they go, oh, by the way, John, by the way, <laughs> but it, we're just like, whatever. 
It's like, wow, you're a fucking loser. It's not fair. You should know. You should know if you're with the fucking loser. You shouldn't cope. Why are those girls with those dudes then? They cannot be alone. Women cannot be alone. They, they cannot be alone, dude. They're so socially calibrated that in the morning, dinner time, middle of the night, they're always texting someone, friends or whatever. Am I being social enough? Am I being... Whereas a guy can actually watch a Joker movie for two hours, not text anyone, and feel the energy of alone, right? But they can't be alone. They actually cannot do it. And that's why they're meant to stay with cousins and family and grandma. That's where they're supposed to be socially calibrated. But now that liberalism has stripped that, they have whore one and whore two and whore three to talk to. And a bunch of friend dudes that are trying to smash. And by the way, any woman who says, these are my friends, they're not trying to smash me. That's like admitting I'm a whore or I'm the dumbest idiot in your phone. Don't talk to me anymore. Which one is it? Which, what's worse? What the fuck is worse, right? Finding out you're talking to a fucking retard or finding out that you're talking to the biggest fucking hoe, right? What is worse? Um, we we're watching TV yesterday with my brothers and I'm like, have you noticed only ugly chicks have guy friends? Like, really think about what I'm saying here. Think about all the way since high school, college. It's never been that. Only ugly chicks have guy friends. Like, really think about what I'm saying. Think of the uh, popular hot girls in your town and shit. They're around fucking women. So if you ever meet someone who's attractive that's always around dudes, then they're putting on a lot of makeup. They're actually ugly. Like you're being fooled, dude. You think they're hot. They're not, man. And they have like a million excuses. But it's like, if you're the type of guy who listens to a woman's excuses, you deserve whatever's coming your way, you know? You deserve everything that bitch does to you, right? Like, I couldn't ever be in a car where a girl's spitting excuses because they're afraid to. They know I'll be like, shut the fuck up, right? No one would ever spit excuses at me rapid fire. They just know. They, they just look at their fucking shoes and feel ashamed, right? And that's the weird thing is, based men now hear their side of the argument. There's nothing to listen to. Based men now are like, hey, John, I'm just like you. I'm listening to all of her guy friend problems. And I'm saying like, hey, man, you don't need guy friends. If you're even having the argument, the communication, you're the fucking hoe. You're the guy is the fucking hoe. The fuck are you talking about that? I've never had someone walk into my car. I've never had a girl have the balls to talk to, to me like that, where they're like, actually, I have a bunch of guy friends and stuff. They all do the same thing. The worst they'll do is, I'm getting rid of them, John. Now hurry the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> hurry the fuck up. You guys, we were watching that movie or TV show or whatever yesterday. And this girl had like all these guy friends. And I look at my brothers and I'm like, you think that's normal? And my brothers are not ex as extreme as me. And they're like, honestly, for a, like an adult mind, it's actually not. And I'm like, wow, we agree. Thank God. We agree. My brothers and I agree. Fuck, I really have to go right now, but we're at a good place. Let's do 10 more minutes. Yo, get this chat moving, bro. Whoever's not typing in chat, you're gonna have a horrible 2023, right? I'm putting a Jewish curse on you. <laughs> I'm kidding, you're chill. Yeah, you're gonna see my future sponsors, right? They're gonna show me these clips one day. I'm be like, hey, John, we know you're at the top of the algorithm, but you're actually gonna be paid way less. They're like, why? Like, something about a curse, a clip where you said something about a curse. 
This coffee got me wired. Shut the fuck up, are you? Bro, ban that guy who said STFU to me, okay? I'm not your ugly whore mom. You don't talk to me like that. Okay? Go talk to your ugly whore mom like that. Don't talk to me like that. I'm not your ugly whore mom. <laughs> I'm really not her, dude. Right? Your ugly whore mom, you need to talk to her with that kind of disrespect, not me, okay? <clears throat> Matter of fact, I'll message her. <laughs> Let's go. Don't leak location. Drake and Davy Street. Fuck you gonna do, bitch. Fuck you gonna do. Woo! Fucking happy new year. I don't think people realize how violent I can be. I'll never get stream sniped. Just, bah, bah, bah. You know what's the best moment in 2022 for me? Is I see my this subscriber of mine who gets me into these nightclubs when I was in Austin, Texas, Dylan. He just punches some dude and I can't see uh, from the window. I can't see who it is. I just know there's multiple dudes and they start scrapping and I immediately run out to fight. And my anxiety spikes because I'm like, fuck, dude, these guys. Like, I know in a street fight, I don't jump in thinking we're going to win always because I've seen the worst. So I jump in there, right, as he's bouncing at work. And this happened on stream too, right? And the guys were fucking tiny. And I came out and I'm like, oh, shit. But part of me said, you know, the small guys always carry the biggest knife. So... But it was so it was the best part of the year where it's like it was like a, a, a Christmas present when I saw them and it happened on stream on uh, IRL and uh, someone has that fucking stream. someone send it to me I want to chop it up I'm gonna post it on my YouTube no we didn't fight them they uh, they left well Dylan fought them and so did the manager are you afraid to fight now that you have expensive teeth now if I got this knocked out, I'll just buy new ones. Like, the, the thing about money is it's always coming to me, dude. I've never had one time in my life where I was struggling more than a couple weeks without getting my shit together. Because at a young age, my dad said to me, my dad said to me, the only thing a man is, is someone who can get the bag. Like, he says, to be a man, the number one thing you have to have under control, no matter what is that income has to be flowing or else you're not a man. And I'm like, dad, that's kind of like a capitalist perspective. I used to be like a fucking cringe call me and shit. And my dad's like, you don't understand, son. Life is going to throw curveballs at you where it's going to block your income and you have to switch the angle. Like you have to, basically he's saying you're going to get fired. And I didn't get what he meant until I was older. And then I kept getting fired and I'm like, oh shit, there's income has stopped and I got to pay this and that. And then, yeah, my dad's like pretty much like, my dad thinks if you go months of being unemployed, you're uh, IQ of a dog, which I used to even do that, right? He says, like, my dad's like, I've, he's never, my dad's never been more, uh, my dad's never been unemployed for more than four or five days. Like, he, yeah. Me, sometimes it would take me months where I'm like, I don't know if I want to work here and blah, 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 right? But my dad's like, Yeah. My dad's like really money obsessed where he he's not like a money guy. Like, you know, like those, he's not like snobby and all that. But he thinks that if a man isn't generating income, that he's going into the deepest part of um, worthlessness. Not that my dad thinks they're worthless, but that the male brain will think he's worthless if money's not coming in. And it's true. It's actually true. Like, if you don't have money, I'm not saying... If you have a hundred thousand in your bank account, two hundred thousand, and money is not coming in anymore, you feel worthless. The people don't understand. They're like, if I had two hundred thousand in my bank account, like you, I would feel great. I would feel no. You'll feel worthless if it's still not coming in. There's something I can't explain that. Only women can have a million in their account and be like, I'm good. But if you, if, as a guy, if you have a million and it stops coming in. It's the most worthless, it's almost like being broke. It's the worst fucking feeling ever, right? And, yeah. False, they want more? Oh, you don't know women, bro. They don't work, right? They don't, they cannot work. That's why they change rules at work, 
right? I'm actually on my period. I'm actually sick. I'm actually this. I'm, I never hired one woman my whole life. Not once. Because I was in life or death situations. So I was like, I don't want to be around your species, bro. <laughs> I've seen what happens, right? But it was so weird because people would be like, why don't you at least learn, Zerka? Like, why don't you test your theory? And then you can say, I don't want to hire women. I said, no, I don't want to test it. They're like, what do you mean? Like, why don't you test it for a few weeks, see if you lose money and someone gets hurt? And I said, nope, no, no. They're like, well, how will you know if you don't test it? Some things you just know, dude, come on. <clears throat> you hired Winter? Yeah, obviously I'm in the gayest fucking platform where you have to have people like that, right? Not that Winter's a bad person, but you have to be around women on Twitch to run a podcast. You think if a guy DMs women to join a podcast, they never respond. Hey, I'm Zerko's producer. Do you want to come to the casting couch? You fucking retarded, you dumb bitch. Your mother's actually a whore. I don't care how long you've subscribed here. I don't know who you are. I don't even know your name. Your mother's a whore. The fact that you connected those two things is means your mom's a whore. That's why you have hooker thinking. Get the fuck out of my chat with that kind of logic. I have to explain myself for Twitch? I don't think one person in this chat would hire fucking Haas. Haas to DM girls come to Zerka's podcast. Like, who the fuck would do that? Hey, I'm Zerka's star pupil from the show. And I think you're the next <laughs> big thing. I think you're going to make money. <laughs> no. That's stupid. <clears throat> stupid coping bitch is what you are whoever said that i hate you i'm not even joking when i hate someone it's for real it's over <clears throat> i hate you shake on it okay we're cool now but your mom's still a whore <laughs> what's up playa <laughs> who the fuck talks like that there's a fucking gangster in my chat don't don't talk to me like that bro that's how i talk when i'm like making fun of you losers all right. Uh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. John, do you think the rapture is 2023? No, I don't. John Ross. John, John, don't John me. Meet Screlly, I should, yeah. You are the best streamer alive, never forget that. One, if you mean that, dude. It's not even close, he says. Let's go! You think my energy for streaming's good? I think I bring good energy. Like, I here's how I know I'm a good streamer. My brother, when I show him some of my streams, he doesn't watch them, he can't stop laughing. He saw me talking to one of Destiny's Orbiters, and he said that was the funniest shit I've ever seen. And I was like, what? So if you weren't my brother, you'd be subscribed? He's like, I would pay for that content, for real. I'm like, you're bullshitting me. He's like, you're funny, dude. I was like, damn. He usually never compliments me, but he couldn't stop laughing last night. I'm not cap. The Royals are going to be fun when my YouTube starts popping off. Because it's going to be like Gideon. You have a big YouTube then pour it in for Royale. And what's cool is it's already set up. I already know everyone. So it's kind of like, hey, do you want to come on a bigger Royale? It's going to be way more fun this time. And uh, you're going to destroy some lives. Well, <laughs> twist, I don't have a brother. I've just been talking to myself. Yeah, Royale is coming back New Year for sure. I also kind of miss everyone complimenting me. Like every five minutes, someone would be like, you're so funny. You're so smart. I've never thought of it that way. You're so cute. You're so, and I'd just be going to bed like this. Those bitches are right. I'm the fucking shit. <laughs> I'm the fucking shit, bitch. I almost forgot. I got bored of my chat's compliments. I need some fucking human compliments now. Yeah, single content will be fire. I mean, honestly, I don't really want to ever do that shit where it's like, 
hey chat we're gonna do everything online where we have a relationship live and that was some sellout shit i'm not gonna lie that's I dishonored a huge friendship too. That was That was just what the fuck was I thinking? Yeah, XQC and those guys, Soda Pop, and they all regret doing that shit. I was like, let's do our first. John podcast became trash when e girls start brushing. Bro, podcast became trash when you and Dunkle got on them and they just and monkey and everyone just starts saying John Zirko one liners and I'm sitting there like did you know that I'm in the call this shit's fucking corny bro right this shit's fucking it's like when Haas said I like five minute doggy and everyone's like yeah that kind of like you stole that from Zirka and my dumb ass would be like this oh that's funny Zirka I was like Haas that's funny and then after fucking four months I'm like what that's not funny that's for me it took me like four months to realize everyone's just copying my fucking shit, right? And I would be so cool with it, but now I'm never letting that shit slide. I'm just going to kick people off the call. Like, oh, God. I got a DM yesterday saying Dunkle's trying to be you. I said, is there anything harder than trying to be Zerka? I'm trying to be Zerka, too. Like, I struggle every day, <laughs> right? Like, I'm based as hell, but then when I want to laugh, I get a little evil, you know? Like, sometimes I make the jokes more than my life. Uh, one in the chat if we get rid of these fucking carbon copies of me. I used to not talk on podcasts because I'm like, they're just going to do it for me. They've watched me a long time, so they're going to say what I'm trying to say. And then they say it in like this fucking stupid way. And it's just like, I have to like re-explain it. I'm like, fuck this shit, dude. Like, I, You know what's funny though? It's like, it works. Doing that shit works where people are like, I'm just going to go off a Zerka script. We saw TikTokers do that and it worked for a lot of TikTokers. Those flat earth TikTokers, right? When I saw that fucking TikToker say, why do you believe in the heliocentric model to his family member on the debate? I wanted to strangle a child. Twitch admins. I wanted to strangle a child. I'm kidding. I'm kidding for real. I'm, I've never want to harm a child. But uh, that shit hurt when I was like, oh, come on, dude. I didn't actually want to strangle a child. <laughs> but, you know. Okay, fine, I did. I did, it's true. I wanted to strangle a child. That's the truth. I can't lie, it's the new year, bro. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It's a fucking joke. It's a joke. I'm Jewish. If you ban me, you know what's happening to you. <laughs> I'm kidding, bro. I'm fucking... Yo, I'm like, you know who I'm trying to be in life? I'm trying to be that bully that always bullies someone and then goes, I'm just fucking with you, dude. Right? Like the kid, the, you know that kid in high school whose mental health is so low and he's bogged down and he's like, he's on the verge of like snapping. And then right when he's about to snap, the bully comes up to him and he goes, I'm just fucking with you, dude. And then pats him on the back and everyone is safe from the school shooter. I'm kidding. Anyways. Guys. This coffee stains teeth. I don't know. I had so many family members, family members say, why did you get these teeth? These teeth are so stupid. They're gay, blah, blah, blah. End of the night, they all whispering. So how much, like, where, where do I go if I was, I'm not going to get them, but where do you go to get them done? And I'm like, this is just like my chat where they're shitting on them. And I was so fucking suave. People think I'm lying about this. Like, that's how stupid people are. I felt so bad at how ugly chat's teeth is. So I said live, I'm like, yeah, I kind of regret this. But you go watch the VOD of how happy I am. You think I regret these teeth? And I'm not going to lie. It's funnier when I tell people their teeth are fucked up. It's funnier. It's better. Like my content is better when I make people feel very insecure about their teeth. You know what I mean? Like let's be honest chat. I've got the best teeth in this chat room. 
wants Omigo ASL me, bitch. ASL me, bitch. Everyone want this dick. You, you're a fucking dentist. And you were fucking right when you said you get veneers and you sleep fucked up because of your tongue placement. Because he said that, every fucking night I had no problem sleeping. But because he said that, he would gaslight me in my head. So I'd be in the middle of the night thinking of you and I'd be like, change your tongue placement. You're biting down too hard. You're doing this. And it's like you... No, I'm not saying you're right. I'm saying because you said that, it became real in my... If you never said that, I would just sleep. I was sleeping just fine. I was sleeping just... Buff I was sleeping just fine before you. But because you said that, I, I hear someone studying to be a dentist saying my tongue is in the wrong spot. And I don't know if it's in the wrong spot, but because he said that, it gaslights me into thinking I'm always sleeping wrong. Right? Like, I'll be in the best sleep of my life, and then, you know when chat is in your head when you're sleeping? Which is the creepiest thing. Ever since I started streaming, like, if you're personal and you leak a lot of your life, chat interrupts your dreams. Right? And dude, chat will make me laugh even when I'm not live. You know? Like, you ever talk to someone... And they're like being all friendly with you. And then you hear chat making fun of their pimples. <laughs> right? I thought it was the voices in my head. And then it turns out you guys were the voices all these years. <laughs> they we're thinking the same thing. I used to think it was just me thinking like that. And by, by the way, what's up with women and skin problems? Ladies. What is up with your skin? All those products, thousands of dollars a month, and your skin is fucked up? Like, what is up with women and skin issues? Have you noticed that? Oh, you don't like this conversation? All women do is talk about men's height and shit and to make men insecure. But when we start talking about theirs, and ours is more cruel because a lot of their value, most of their value comes from like, you know and ours doesn't you know like you know where my value comes from it's me neither it's tell me <laughs> ah, let's go cheers guys to a new year where we're actually going to take over this shit and by take over i mean um i want to show you something like, I, I might not even have time for you guys anymore. I might be too famous, rich, and successful. If you didn't think I ate pussy before, now, now I talk shit to pussy. Now I'm going to be so successful that I don't just not eat it. I talk shit to it. I go, look at this shit. Basura. I had my porcelain toilet replaced. Shut the fuck up. I'm gonna be live today, all day. So, just gonna buy some stuff in. Wait, what? This guy got a leaf blower. Is that a leaf blower? Yes, it is. Do you mind if I use it in the car? Yeah. Is it illegal? Woo! Can you blow me with that? Can you blow this way? Can I blow that way? In the car, yeah. Was it filled with smoke or something? It's, yeah, it smells like shit. It's like a cigarette. Can you just roll the windows down? No, it would be funnier. Go, hit me, hit me, hit me. <laughs> Thank you. You guys want to kill me, dude. The guys are fucking angry, man. I had to fucking pressure that guy. The fuck? One of the chat for more IRLs this year. I gotta go, man. I'll see you guys soon. Mwah. Mwah. Mwah.